All right, hello everybody. My name is Dalton Rullinger, and welcome back to Sailwind, where you join me once again at Siren Song. But this time, it's not because I got lost or uh, restarted the game. It's because I've made a couple of changes to the boat. Yeah, um, I've removed the superstructure and I've added on a new sail. I forgot what this kind of sail is called. I think it's a gaff, if I recall correctly. But anyway, yeah, I. Uh, I did a live stream and I also kind of messed around on my own trying to build up uh, as much money as I can because uh, yeah I was pretty much dead broke whenever the stream ended and now I've actually got some money to my name. Uh, before we depart I need to sell this barrel of water because it's completely empty. Sell it for 11, sure. Um, do you have anything that I can buy? No. Um, Ideally, I'd like to get another... Well, you know, I really don't need a second barrel of water. I the, the journeys in this region don't really take that long, and I don't really need... I could go for a new lantern, but they're, they're 100 coins, and I don't really want to lose what money I have. Uh, you know, I've actually never been down this back street. Are there any Easter eggs? Probably not, but... Doesn't hurt to to look, I guess. I haven't really explored the islands that much, have I? We've just kind of stuck around the ports. Um, in my experience, there's not really anything going on outside, you know, the market area and the ports themselves. But it'd be nice if Raw Lion uh, put in some Easter eggs or something every now and then. Kind of reward you for exploring around. But uh, anyway... Uh, let's go get another job, I guess. Yeah, uh, the trading system, I really don't know how I feel about this, to be honest. They don't have anything. Do they? No, they don't have any for sale. Okay. Yeah, like, there's just not really... A lot of people have said, like, the trading system is where the money really is, but... As far as I can tell... I'm either getting, like, extremely unlucky, or... And that's going to Eastwind. That pays... Not spectacular, but... Better than most. Uh, I'm just going to stick with regular jobs, because... I seem to make the most money with just regular jobs. Ooh, tools. That are extremely heavy, apparently. Okay, there's nothing world-wise. East Wind. Do I want to try my luck with East Wind again? Not really, because I don't... I'm kind of getting a little burnt out with the game, but I want to get this video recorded. Um, so I don't really want to record too long. Yeah, we'll take the tools to Sunspire because that pays the most. And then we'll also take a couple of goods. That doesn't pay that much less. I'll just take that as well. I could probably get more, but... Uh, those tools are going to weigh 
an absolute crap ton, so I'd rather not risk sinking if I can. <laughs> Okay, then you go there. Alright, so I'm guessing you're, yeah, you're a part of the tools. You're also part of the tools. Put you, actually, we'll put the heavy stuff more towards the rear. Uh, if we can. Might have to put it, like, dead on in the middle. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot of room in this boat. Oh man, there's even more tools over here. Uh, let's put you... Can I squeeze it in right there? Just barely, by the looks of it. Yeah, then we'll put you there. And then you... We'll just ride along comfortably right there. Alrighty. Which way is the wind blowing? Uh, directly. Pretty much against us, but that's why I got this thing. Come on. At least I get to show this thing off pretty nice and early. do the old fashion trick, aren't I? I'm going to have to annoy Newton. Eh, crap. Oh, maybe, maybe. Nope. Gosh darn it. Getting out of this port is going to be an absolute nightmare, isn't it? All right, here we go. Maybe. Possibly. I need to try and... I know I'm going into the wind, but I need to try and turn around in that direction. Come on. 
Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. Um. Here we go, here we go. Now we're starting to get places. Very slowly we're starting to get pla to places. <laughs> but we are starting to get places. And start raising this up. The main sail might not see too much use in this voyage. Since we've got this giant monstrosity on us. <laughs> Alright, I think uh, the island we're going for is just hidden behind this rock, so... Yep, there it is. Fancy, 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 fancy. So depending on which way the wind blows, this thing will actually kind of move along with it. That's handy, actually. It's very, very handy. So it looks like I might have to tuck in this, as I learned, which is basically like going past the island with the wind and then kind of turning around and then using the wind to get back to where I need to go. The wind is blowing annoyingly in that direction, which means I can't really turn towards that direction. <laughs> Alright, so we've got kind of a longer-ish journey with us today. Uh, I'm going to do some configuration here. I think this is going to bring in about 130, give or take. And bring up a calculator on my phone. Yeah, so about 118 is how much we're going to bring in with this, which I guess I made it around 120, so I wasn't far off. This might be a pretty uh, uninteresting sail, but sooner or later we're going to start going to places like Happy Bay and the other archipelagos. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you can really do too much until you actually get some reputation in your area. Like, I can go to Happy Bay, which is fine, but 
I lack the tools in order to do that, and I don't really have the food supplies either. Uh, I did also buy a fishing pole, by the way. I might as well go ahead and try and show this off, since there's nothing else to do. Obviously, it is fishing, so it's, uh... <laughs> You've, you've got to have patience for it. It's not guaranteed that you're going to get a bite right off the bat. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get extremely unlucky. In this case, we didn't have to wait too long. So what you do, once you wait, once you get a bite, you want to use the middle mouse wheel and slowly reel it in. You go too fast, you see how the pole starts to shake? That's how you lose the fish. So yeah, you just want to take your time and reel the fish in nice and slowly. Once it gets up into the air, um, you should be fine. Like once it gets out of the water entirely. There we go. And of course that used up my hook because why wouldn't it? So now you can just eat sushi. I've got to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of seafood in real life. Um, I mean, I'll eat it if there's nothing else, but... Yeah, I, I, I'm just not a big fan of fish. Oh, got another bite already. that seriously already eat up my hook again? What the heck? Right, well, anyway, um... Let's go ahead and put that away for now. Uh, I think this can probably be pulled in a bit more like this. I think this type of sail, you don't want the wind to hit it, like, square on. You want the wind to kind of roll off your sail on this one. So, um, since there's not really much of anything else to do, I'm just going to go ahead and sleep. Try and leave as many, as much of the video in as possible, I guess. Since there are some people that like to see the videos uncut, I'll see if I can kind of find a happy ground for that. I'll try and cut out the really boring stuff, but... And I'll try and leave a lot of the journeys in. Uh, no promises once we get to... Start, like, once we start doing the, like, long journeys, going from archipelago to archipelago. There are a few changes I'd like to make to my boat before we do that, though. Like, I, at bare minimum, I'd kind of like to have a roof. <laughs> That's going to be ex extremely expensive. Hmm. 
Oh, I hear the wind starting to pick up. It's not really a good thing. Yeah, that live stream that I did yesterday, it was it was fun, but I was definitely starting to get very frustrated with the with the wind. Because <laughs> uh, it was constantly like blowing in the exact like the opposite direction of what I needed it to blow. Like it didn't change hardly at all. It wasn't until after I got to No, I think I did actually end the stream after we got to Fort Astron is whenever I got to Siren Song that the person I was talking to left. It's inter it's interesting coming to this island from this angle because typically we're always coming into it from Fort Astron, so <laughs> or we sail between Fort Astron and Sunspire, but I don't think we've ever gone around outside of it. Well, we're getting closer. I just paused the video because I had to go to the bathroom and do some other stuff, but we are getting closer. And uh, I did learn from my mistake from the live stream. I'm always going to have at least one crate of free food uh, on board. That way, in the event that I start getting extremely hungry and there's nothing biting, I at least have some way of restoring my hunger. Because <laughs> <coughs> in the live stream, I left Fort Astrid without having any kind of, like, food supplies at all whatsoever. I just bought a fishing pole and pretty much called it good. Yeah, big mistake. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. That that was a bad idea. I wonder where I reel in this next fish. Let's take a look at the logs and we'll see how we've been doing with our journeys. That because there's nothing biting, let's just go ahead and do that now. Uh, log. Ooh, I, actually, that might be whenever I bought, whenever I started doing some upgrade, bleh, whenever I started doing some upgrades to the ship. Under night five hundred eighteen, two hundred sixty-three. Yeah, so it, it's it's really hard to actually you know, manage all of your income, because it's not like American Truck Simulator or European Truck Simulator 2, where uh, you make so much money that you don't really have to worry about your expenses as much, but with this game, you kind of do. It's only because of your reputation that you actually build up a, a discount. Like, right now, I've only got a 
15% discount. I can take five missions, but whenever you don't have like any kind of reputation at all whatsoever, it, it's uh, <laughs> everything. It is ludicru ludicrously expensive. At some point, I need to go over to the Oracle. In fact, that might actually be the best bet. Like, if I were to go from Mount Malefic and go to Eastwind, my best bet might actually be to sail around the south side of Fort Astra and head over to, to the Oracle Island and then head up north. That might be the better course of action, honestly. I do feel like this is a very live stream friendly game though, because there's a lot of just this in the game. Like, there's just a lot of sailing. You're just kind of sitting here alone in the dark, <laughs> waiting to get to your next destination. You can kind of sleep to help speed up time, but whenever you are really well rested, it's, it doesn't do a, a whole lot of good. Where's my drink? There it is. I'm trying to finish off this two liter of Dr. Pepper that I've had forever. Uh, there's still <laughs> a bit more than I was expecting there to be. So how's the wind doing, by the way? Uh, I can probably pull this in just a smidge more. Probably just bring it all the way in, yeah. So long as we're making progress forward, that's, that's all that really matters to me. Just so long as we are making forward progress. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there there is like a certain point on the rope where the game just like just says, yeah, no, you're not going up any further. Okay. No oh god. Now the game's not even going to let me get up there. <laughs> okay, I, I, this is as high as I'm going to go. Uh, it'd be so nice if there actually was a crow's nest or something, but... This is an absolutely massive island, isn't it? <laughs> how you can see pretty much all of the islands with the exception of East Wind and the Oracle. The Oracle I can understand because it's a very small island. But East Wind, it doesn't make any sense really because like whenever you get here the island is absolutely massive. Like it's not as big as you know Sunspire or you know Fort Astrid, but it, it's big. Like it sticks out of the water like a pretty fair distance. Like 
I think I was somewhere like up in this area whenever I tried going to Eastwood in episode 2 but I didn't go far enough west. I'm going to have to try going back to Eastwood at some point uh, but right now I just want to try and make as much easy money as I can because uh, these islands are very easy to find. <laughs> Maybe next episode, <clears throat> I'll see you guys at Mount Malefic. Then we'll kind of do what I planned a minute ago, where we go, like, sail around the south of Port Astor, and we find Oracle Island. We kind of explore around Oracle Island, because I've never really been there. There's probably nothing of interest, but you never know. And then, we, and then from there, we just head straight north. Just straight, straight, straight north. I think that'd probably be the best course of action, honestly. Good stuff. Let's turn a bit more in this direction. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to tuck for this. Tucking is whenever you... As I found out yesterday during the live stream, tucking is whenever you sail out past the island until you get to a reasonable point you can turn around and have the wind somewhat with you whenever you come back into port. Sometimes it'll be completely with you, other times it won't be so much. But these crates aren't due for... That's not due for another two days. Two days... Yeah. Everything's due in two days, so we're fine. As far as time goes. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn this a bit more... Not like that. Maybe not to that extreme, though. Maybe something a bit more like this. Should be fine. Oh, I've actually been wanting to ask you guys, uh, for anybody who actually makes the, the spawn to my videos, uh, which series do you kind of prefer that I work on more? Do you prefer Sailwind more, or do you prefer Transport Fever more? I've got a poll on my community page on my channel. Uh, only three people have really responded so far, but the, but the majority of it is uh, people just asking who the heck I am, because, you know, the YouTube algorithms just... My polls will show up to just random people that have never heard of me before, so... Me, personally, I think I kind of prefer Sailwind, just because it's a bit more interesting to, to a certain degree. Uh, Transport Fever 2 is fun, don't get me wrong, but there are a lot of things that Transport Fever 2 doesn't have that the original did have, and it's very frustrating in some points. Uh, as you saw in the last video, Like, there's no uh, automatic vehicle replacement that you can set up. That way you're not constantly, like, having to, you know, 
buy new vehicles once they reach their expiration limit or whatever. The game would just automatically replace it. Whenever a new vehicle came out, you could just, you know, say whenever a vehicle reaches its, you know, let's say it, it's been in service for 20 years, right? Uh, you can just have the vehicle replaced whenever it reaches its 20 years with the new vehicle that just recently came out. At Transport Fever 2, you can't really do that. I might could make it now, but I'm going to continue waiting. I'm going to get about... I'm going to wait until I can actually see the lights of the port and then kind of turn around counterclockwise, then go in. That way I've got the wind with me. See, I do learn. I learn slowly, but I do learn. And I think I actually want to start live streaming uh, maybe every weekend or something like that uh, we can do like a live stream for Sailwind or we can do a live stream for Transport Fever 2 or maybe I can start doing some live streams of Oblivion or Skyrim or something like that uh, just something to kind of allow me to connect with my viewers a bit more often I, I really want to try getting back into the whole habit of uploading I've been doing good this week uh, but I haven't really had a chance to build up a backlog of videos. Maybe that's what I'll do next week, is I'll just kind of take a break from uploading, and then just the week after, I'll just kind of let videos come out uh, one time every day. And I'll just use all of next week to just build up a, a really big backlog of videos. Might be a better case. Okay, I can see the port. I think that's the port. There's a way I can find out. Ah, falling into the water is not part of it. I said falling into the water is not part of it. Let me up onto this thing. Thank you. I do believe that do be the port. Okay, so... How's the wind? The wind is actually not that bad, so... Let's go ahead and... Turn like this. We'll go ahead and lower this down, too. Little Falls, New York. I'm getting a phone from Little Falls, New York. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to answer that. You know, ever since I published my second book, I've been getting non-stop scam calls by people who say they're going to turn my book into a movie, but uh, they want me to fork over like $6,000 or whatever just for them to even like consider doing it. Like, yeah, <laughs> you can take a hike. I fell for that scam once. I'm not falling for it again. Yeah, one thing I've noticed, your boat really doesn't like to turn when the when the gaff sail is is down. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and rate, uh, lower this.
Let's lower the mainsail now. Okay. Just going to raise that back up. Then, we'll loosen this. <clears throat> I think it's the whole interacting with the sails that draws me to this game more than really like anything else um like yeah i like the whole aspect that you're sailing around in a boat but let's say in american truck simulator for example you uh you don't really do anything like you've always got the navigation to tell you where to go um like yeah there are certain obstacles in the game that you can either turn on or turn off like you can make it to where there's always some kind of roadblock or something but that's about it. You can also turn off the navigation and just kind of do things like the old-fashioned way, just, you know, navigate by a map. But you don't have, a like, a real dread of actually getting lost like you do in this game. Because in this game, you can actually get lost. You can lose all kinds of progress. And the economy is set up to where, like, yeah, after you get a certain amount of reputation, you can actually, you know, get some discounts and whatnot, but you're not going to get rich fast like you do in American Truck Simulator. Like, once you start buying your <clears throat> other trucks, like, once you even buy your first truck, like, you're never going to have that much struggle financially. Like, yeah, you might kind of plan something wrong whenever you buy another truck for, you know, one of your other drivers, but that's going to be about the extent of your struggle. Like, you you might not be able to purchase some fuel at some point or another, but all you have to do is just wait for a few minutes, and then your other drivers will bring in a certain amount of money and you'll be able to afford fuel at that point. But there's just not really, there's not a sense of danger to American Truck Simulator, and I know that's not what the point of the game is, you just, you know, you want to simulate, but, I don't know, I think it'd be kind of interesting if they actually added in, you know, some sense of, you know, something you really shouldn't do. You can get tickets and stuff, sure, but... You make so much money in the game that you can just blow off tickets like it's like it's nothing, whereas in real life you couldn't do that. I'm gonna turn this just a little. Do I want to do that though? Do I? No, I think it's fine where it is, honestly. <clears throat> so you see, I do learn. I do learn. I, it, it just it takes a while. I've always been a slow learner. <laughs> So, just to cut down on time, I'll see you guys whenever we are approaching the port.
Well, here we are. The wind is kind of shifting against me again, but I think we should be more or less fine. At least we're still moving forward. Um, can I make a difference if I do this? No, not really. Well, it's slow, but we are getting there. There is something like really refreshing for the fact that you don't have to refill your ship with fuel. You don't have to refuel your... Would this technically be considered a vehicle? I don't know if this would be considered a vehicle or not. I, it'd just probably just be a ship, I guess. Um... Hmm. Vessel. Vessel would be the right word, more or less. <clears throat> but yeah, it is, it's just so nice that you don't have to worry about fuel for a change. Uh, your fuel is the wind. And the wind of the ocean never really dies. There might be some areas where it's not as windy, but <clears throat> for the most part, yeah, it's always going to be windy. I think it'd be kind of fun to actually do a, a real journey like this, though. sailing around from location to location on a sailboat. Yeah, I think that'd be kind of fun. Let's go ahead and start raising, or if we lower this one, and then we raise this one, or this one, I mean. Try and get the heavy stuff off first. <clears throat> oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Help me! Help! Help me! Help! Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Just got the cartoony version of like just some random head just popping up and down, <laughs> just screaming for help. Oh god. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and turn this on so we can see what the heck we're doing. Cheese. Cheese. 
more cheese <clears throat> even more cheese <laughs> cheese and then goods An auto unload feature, at least onto the dock here where the where the concrete is. That'd be a really nice feature. An auto load would also be really nice. Where everything just gets stacked onto your ship. It doesn't have to be nice, it just, you know. Although I can see that going very badly. Like I I, I can see the game either glitching or the developer kind of having a bit of a laugh and Making it to where the auto load just makes the cargo just load in, in the worst way imaginable. I wouldn't be mad if that happened. I'd, I'd find it quite amusing, but <laughs> there's probably plenty of people who would get very annoyed by it. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, see, before I go, I want to check something really quick. So yeah, I've got all these options that go to Happy Bay. Good, 1,300 pounds? I don't think so. But that pays just a ridiculous amount. Yeah, Happy Bay. I probably could do that, but... I mean, it's a little more than halfway between Mount Malefic and the Dragon Cliffs, but... Hmm. I've always found out that there's, like, nothing really out here. There, maybe there's actually, like, a secret island in one of these, like, really far western squares, but... Who wants to journey out there and find out? Also, is that Siren Song or is that East Wind? That is Siren Song, which means East Wind would be like up here ish, give or take. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time, and it looks like we'll be. Well, I'll see you guys at Fort Astrin, apparently. I don't really want to show you guys that job again. <laughs> uh, so, you know, in fact, if whenever I start the next video, that'll give me a perfect opportunity to show on video the actual, the actual customization for people who don't want to watch, you know, a four-hour-long live stream. So, yeah, that's probably what, what I'm going to do next time. I'll see you guys at Fort Astrin, and at the very beginning of the video, we'll start working with the customization. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.